Hello and welcome back to Foot Manager 2017. Today will be doing another Wonder Kid video. Today we'll be looking at. Oh, you're gonna have to. You're really gonna have to bear with me for this one. This was a requested one. Now, there's two things I can't pronounce. I can't pronounce the person that suggested it, so I'm sorry. And I'm also gonna struggle to pronounce this guy's name. So I'm gonna assume that his first name's Sergi. Don't know. Sergi Milin Milinkovic Savic Savic Savic. I'm going to call him Savage, and I'm sorry if it's wrong. But yeah, right. So, he's a uh, centre mid for Lazio. 21 years old. 14 million value. On a 35.5k wage. He's... So, because he's centre mid, and... First of all, isn't that advanced playmaker? No, a B... Get this out eventually. He's a box-to-box -box midfielder. So, we'll be tracking his finishing, which is 13. His first touch, which is 13. His passing which is also 13, tackling, that is 12, and his stamina, which is 14, because he's a box box midfielder. Now, for a 21-year-old, he has incredibly rounded stats. Like, if he gets his marking and leadership up by one, they'll be blue. The only thing he's missing out on is his corners and his long throws. All the rest of them, he has really, really rounded. He could really play anywhere in the midfield. Maybe... You don't really want to play him as CDM, I suppose. His tackling's not bad. His marking's a bit off. Play center attacking mid as well, but we'll be looking in for a center mid box to box role. So, also actually to mention, he's six foot four and he's got 18 strength. He's actually really, really good. The only reason I didn't originally have this guy down to do a Wonder Kid video is because of his name and it's so long. That's a ridiculously long name. Born in Spain, strangely enough, but he's declared for Serbia, so I guess he, he's probably Serbian. I actually don't know. I mean, he started in Serbia, so let's just assume that. Anyway, we're going to go through 10 years, do uh, two-year intervals each time, and we will look how uh, Savic, 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 Vidic, Savic, Savic develops. So yeah, I'll be back in two years, in 2018, to have a look how he's doing. So we're in 2018, let's have a look at Savage. Right, because I'm going to have to remember how to spell his first name, because it's the easiest bit to find him. Uh, well, <laughs> that didn't take long. So uh, we'll uh, see box to box. Now he's in England, I can tell you his thing, yeah, box to box. Same time he plays a shadow striker. So let's have a look at his stat developments. So his finishing is still 13. His first touch has gone from 13 to 14. Passing has also gone from 13 to 14. Tackling from 12 to 13, and his stamina has gone from 14 to 15. Just seen quite a bit of stat development. Uh, Serbian caps, I can't remember if he had any before. Should we check that? But let's have a look how he's doing. So he obviously moved to Spurs in January, but so we'll get to that. So his first season at Lazio, he played 25 games. Got 9 goals, 2 assists, 2 plate matches, and a 7.07 .07 average rating. Then in his last season at Lazio, he played... 21 games, 18 starts, 3 as a sub. Got 5 goals, 1 assist, 2 plate matches, and 6.9 average rating. And then in that January, I'm assuming, he moved to Spurs for 19.25 million. So he's not ridiculously expensive, which surprises me for what his stats actually are already, and what they were. Incredible heading as well. Just want to mention that, I suppose he's 6 for 4. But in his first season at Spurs, he played 6, well, half season, he played 6 games, 5 star and 1 as sub appearance. One goal, one assist, no play matches, and a 6.62 average rating. So we'd have to wait long for him to move. Let's, so at Lazio, he just got the season of S11 and then left. At Spurs, he's had nothing. Great. He got his first international goal against Moldova. His debut against Ireland in 2016. I think that might be during this. I'm not 100% sure. Let's have a look if they played Ireland in 2016. They did, so that's probably, his, that's assume that's his debut. He must have been. I don't know, I'm assuming it was. He's, he's the second top player. So yeah, he's already got a big move. Um, this is fast than expected. He's 23 years old. 32 million on 160k a week. Mental. So yeah, he's, he's definitely a good player already. So I can see you a lot of development coming out of him. So let's go through to 2020 and see if... Uh, no, no, let's just look how he's developed. So, we're in 2020. Let's have a look how uh, Savage is doing. 
Uh, let's be able to spell his name first. There we go. Still at Spurs. Currently valued at 14.5 million. Now, remember I said if he got his leadership up, it's gone up. And if he got his marking up, it's gone up. He now only has to get his corners up and he will have one grey stat. The rest will be blue or above. But let's just let's just quickly go through his stats. He's changed. I guess he's playing center. Yeah. Spurs have adapted. Uh, well, started playing with center attacking mid more than center mid. So he's losing the ability to play box to box midfielder. Because that's his original position, that's what I'm uh, tracking. Do apologize if that's a little bit annoying. But let's go through his stats. Finishing is still 13. First touch has gone up from 13 to 15. His passing has gone from 13 to 15. His tackling is 12 to 12. <laughs> and his stamina is 14 to 16. So he, he can run for a long time. His stats are incredible. Sorry, I get a bit carried away. Anyway. So his first full season at Spurs. He played 35 games, 32 starting and 3 sub appearances, 10 goals. Pretty good. One assist, no player match in 7.12. Then his most recent season, he played 31 games, 30 starting, one sub appearance, six goals, 11 assists. Coming from one assist to 11, that's pretty impressive. Six player matches and a 7.34 average rating. But Spurs won anything. They won the league in 2019. So he's got a league title. Yeah, they beat. Uh, they won it by six points. Oh, pretty convincing, actually. Didn't mean to do that. Let's uh, drop back to him. It's overall best 11. Let's look if they've got anything here. Uh, no. That's a bit annoying. Let's have a look. Um, that don't count. That's annoying. Four trophies. One don't count. Two don't count. Three don't count. The only trophy he's got so far is a league title with uh, Spurs. So he's doing very well already. We've still got quite a few more years to look at as well, so... We're going to go through to 2022, and we will look at Savage when he's a little bit older. So we're in 2022. Let's have a look how Savage is doing. Still at Spurs. Now 27 years old. Has 55 caps for Serbia, 22 goals. By 41.5 million. Still 160k a week. So look at his stats. Finishing is still the same. First touch is the same. Tackling is 15, I'm pretty sure that's the same. Passing, sorry, his passing is 15. Tackling is actually still the same. And his stamina has now dropped down from 16 to 15. A little bit annoying, but let's have a look how he's been doing. Quite well. So, in this season he played 29 games, 28 start, 1 sub, 5 goals, 9 assists, 2 play match and 7.29 average rating. Most recent season they played 33 games, starting all of them. 9 goals, 4 assists, 2 player matches, and a 7.27 average rating. Doing well for Spurs. Did they win out? They won the EFL Cup, that's another trophy for him. Uh, that's it. Serbia, so you got a Serbia seasonal best 11. I want to check the Serbia record for appearances. I don't think you can manage to break it. 103, uh, Stankovic. Yeah. All time top goal scorer is actually only 33 goals. And if we have a look at him now, he actually has 22. It's very unlikely he could break it, but you never know. A little bit annoying that the stat player is attacking midfielder. But yeah, we can. his stats are incredible. Can you get his corners up, please? Be really happy if he can do that. But he's still incredibly well-rounded. He does kind of remind me of someone. Let's see if I can... Yeah. Let's see, he's more well-rounded than Nangolan. Uh, what does that take? Just to think Nangol's mentals are incredible. He's 34. Just want to get that out of there. I'll do a bit of comparison. So Nangol and just kind of... dis No. Savage destroys Nangol and aerially. Completely. But this is... Yeah. They're very similar. Hmm. Well, I know title for this video. So we've seen uh, Savage has got... You know, he's come on pretty well. So let's go through to 2024 and see if he can further develop. See if he can win more with Spurs or see if he can push Serbia to a, um, well, a better ranking than 21st, which isn't even that bad. So yeah, I will see you in a second. 
So we're in 2024. Let's have a look at uh, Savage. I don't know how I'm trying to spell his name there. There we go. Still at Spurs. Played at 30 million. 160k. 76 caps. And do you want to see he couldn't break that goal scoring? He's got in two years he's got ten goals for them. So he's he's doing well. Twenty nine years old now though, which is a bit iffy. But let's look at his stats. So his finishing has not gone up at all. His first touch is thirteen to fifteen as we saw. Passing from thirteen to fifteen. Tackling from twelve to twelve. His stamina has gone from fourteen to fifteen. Let's have a look at his uh, games then. So doing well for Spurs again. So in the season he played thirty three games, starting all of them. 7 goals, 1 assist, 1 plate match and a 7.07 .07 average rating. In his most recent season he played 29 games, starting 25, coming on the sub 4 times. 7 goals again, 1 assist again, 2 play matches and a 7.05 average rating this time. Did Spurs win now? Don't even know why I ask if Spurs won out. They're obviously competing against very good teams. I'll have a look where they've been uh, coming though. See if they ever have just missed that one, oh my god. They've been pretty dreadful, you know, finishing 6th, 5th, 6th, 3rd, 4th, and that's when they won the league. So they're not doing great. So Spurs aren't really helping him. Really? I don't question the Premier League sometimes. Uh, let's go back to... Here he is. So we have two more seasons to look at him, and we'll go and do those now. Because he's there's not really much to look at for him. Actually, no, we won't do it now. Look, his plans. There aren't any. He's on holiday. Okay. Yeah, we'll go through to 2026 and we'll uh, see how he's doing. So we're in 2026. Let's have a look how Sergi is doing. Oh, got him by his first name this time. Still at Spurs. Okay, he's, he's, he might break that captain. We'll never know. It's a bit of a shame. But he's developed more into a box to box again. Thank you. Let's do a final round of his stats. So his finishing went from 13 to 13. First touch from 13 to 15. Passing from 13 to 15. Tackling from 12 to 12. And his stamina has gone from 14 to 15. But as you can see, the rest of his stats have developed along with them. It's become very good actually. He's valued at 13 and a quarter million. 165k a week as a new contract. 31 years old. We'll check his most recent two seasons. So, this season he played 24 games, 16 starting, 8 sub. He got 6 goals, 1 assist, no play match, and 6.92. Then in season he played 36 games, starting 33, 3 of them being sub appearances. But 10 goals, 4 assists, 4 play matches, and a 7.31. Did Spurs win anything? Yes, they won the Europa League in 2025. Who did they beat to win it? Let's find out. Uh, I don't know if that's the season I'm looking for. I do believe it is. They beat uh, Chelsea. Did he take part in this game? Indeed he did and played a 7.7 .7 average rating. Not quite the 10 that Ben Davis played. How do you draw? I mean, uh, Odeveld played a 9.7. So we'll see they played, they didn't play that defensive. How do you draw but get a 10 rating as a left back? How does a left back get a 10 rating? Whatever, I don't know how that happens. But they won it on penalties. I've lost Savage. Here he is. So he had another trophy. So look at his. Uh, so for Serbia, they obviously didn't win anything. Bit of a shame, but we'll have a look. Did he break the goal scoring record? Is what I'm intrigued at. So I've got itchy now. Um. No, their goal scorer changed. Yeah, they definitely changed. There's um, there's there's very good reasons for that. Um, but this guy can't take free kicks. He can just do everything else, except long throws and tackling. Do you know when I said that regen's a bit stupid? This is what I meant. This guy's actually coming from the same club that um, Savage came from. Jesus Christ. Metal. But he's played, 50, he's played 56 games with 42 goals. Caps is... Oh, Predrag broke the Caps as well. I do not know. He will have not retired either. So everything that uh, Savage was going for... Well, not going for, but I was hoping he'd get... He ain't really got a chance now. Oh, well. 
He's uh, he's a very good player though. Heading's dropped. That's a shame. His strength's gone up though. But this has been. Mm, let's try again. Sergi Milankovic Savic. And yeah, I will see you next time for the next one. Well, might be a wonder kid. Might be something completely different. I have to wait and see. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.